with your money? Want to know where to start? Take our three minute money quiz to get a plan you can follow. Go to RamseySolutions.com and search for Get Started to get a plan for your money. Alrighty, Ramsey Show ending. After show beginning, I'll put in my plugs in the chat and then we'll start a show here. How about that? That's right, Tattoo, you right. It is time for the after show. It's funny, I don't know if it's somebody that knows about the after show, but somebody that I gave advice to, gave Dave's advice to, obviously, in the Ramsey Show chat, um, said, you should have your own show. And so I said, that's a great idea. What up, Bob's? What up, Sid? We're all good. Let's reload and see if that's working right. You guys have found it, so I'm assuming it's up. Yep. Episode 305, 622. Change the date and everything. All right. Sir the Craftsman, what's up? I don't know what Who Dared to Kill the King's Dare is all about. That's a... That's opposite, right? Who dared to kill the king's deer? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what movie that is from. Uh, sounds like maybe an animated one. Is that from the Snow White or some kind of something like that? Some kind of animated is what I'm guessing. As we wait for that, we will sing. Ready, ready. You need to warm up for us. Me, 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 me. Do re mi so pa la. All right. Men in tight. Tight tights. Yep. Men in tights. Yep. Unlike some Robin Hoods, I speak with an English accent. Horrible English accent there. But there you go. And this has been Movie Trivia with Cray J. All right, let's put those drum taps. Like all plans, it starts with step one. Thousand buck emergency fund. Step two, you'll pay off all your debt. Step mortgage, we do not do that yet. So pay off your consumer debt. Every one of those charges, from smallest to largest. Baby, step three is next. Full emergency fund of expenses, you stay gazelle intensive. His name is Dave Ramsey, and this is his plan. And I hope to meet him, I admire the man. I've messed up in my life, but these steps have made it right. That's why I don't, that's why I don't, and why I host this after show. If you don't like the way that it's working out, and you should do the baby steps. I see ya. If you want to have financial peace, then you should do the baby steps. Step four is when you can take a breath. <sighs> Go less gazelle and invest. Step five is to save for your kids. No student loans at all for college. Six is to pay off your home. Step seven, build your wealth and keep it all yourself and you've lived like nobody else. Now you get to live large and now you get to give large. His name is Dave Ramsey and this is his plan. And I hope to meet him, I admire the man. 
I've messed up in my life, but these steps have made it right. That's why I don't, that's why I go to my host this YouTube show. If you don't like the way that it's working out, you should do the baby steps. And if you want to have financial peace, then you should do Dave's baby steps. And if you have a trumpet, you should take it home. Live from Columbus OH. It's the Ramsey Show After Show Show brought to you by D.H. Schumann. Thank you so much, D.H. Here we talk about the Ramsey Show, the Ramsey Show YouTube chat, and the people in it, and all things financial and whatever else I want to talk about. I'm your host, Coach Steve Money. I'm a certified Ramsey Solutions financial coach. And you can schedule a free consultation assessment with me at calendly.com slash coach Steve Money. Links at the top of the chat and in the video description below. You can email me about anything, yes, anything at coach Steve Money at gmail.com. You can reach me on Instagram, add me on the grump, coach Steve Money, no spaces. And if you'd like to donate to the channel so I can make it better, that's going to be paypal.me slash coach Steve Money. Alrighty. Catch up with the chat. Let's see. Did the men in tights thing. I would recommend that, OBS. Tattoo has to go water the garden. Start making some more wood chips. Come back inside for a bit. Starting getting hot outside. Well, the the uh, garden's loss is my game. Thanks for uh, checking me out while you're cooling off there, Tattoo. AJ says, favorite Mel Brooks film is Young Frankenstein, but Men in Tights is number two. Thanks for the IOs. Kids, AJ, I think I put it in the um, Ramsey Show chat. There's a History of the World Part 2 coming out with, um, oh crud, I'm trying to remember who is working with Mel Brooks on that. Nick Kroll, I think, and some other um, uh, younger uh, comedic writers and such, and actors and such, are working on that with him. And so, and it's going to be, I think, a series, like a six-part series or something like that. I forget what network. Uh, I guess we could check it out so we don't give half information here. History of the World Part 2. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. Ordered at Hulu from Mel Brooks. So there you go. And let's see if it says those gentlemen that are involved in it. And it did. Oh, come on! Add. Okay. Um. Blue, 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 blue. Uh. Yep. Nick Kroll. Where does it say that? Do, 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 do. Oh. Um. Nick Kroll, Wanda Sykes, Ike Barinholtz, uh, David Stassen, and Kevin Salter. I don't know off the top of my head who the last ones are. But uh, Nick Kroll, uh, forget what shows he's been on. He's been in several uh, comedic films and TV series. Uh, Wanda Sykes was in Curb Your Enthusiasm, I know, and probably some other stuff. Ike Barinholtz was in the Mindy Project uh, TV series and other things as well. So, uh, yeah, it'll pro probably be good. Yep. Don't have the heat exhaustion. Do not have the heat exhaustion. Take some take some agua out there with you. Maybe get one of those nice little towels that go on your neck. That's always fun to do that. Alrighty, let's see. 
today's Ramsey Show host and an all-new Ramsey Show were the man himself, Dave Ramsey in the big chair, and Christina Ellis, newest uh, Ramsey personality, co-hosting, and for, I think, her sixth time overall and third time uh, doing a full show. First three times, I believe, were... She was just on for one or two segments. Uh, and in the third hour, it was a Baby Steps Millionaire Hour. Proving again that uh, all millionaires, most millionaires, in fact, did not steal all the money. They did not inherit the money. And most of it is involved in, in their house and in their 401k or other investment vehicles and which that means anyone can do it all right and so dave starts talking about that and then a self-proclaimed in the chat liberal said why didn't dave talk about uh, the bailouts that happened in 2020 and dave did talk about that dave was not in favor of that um nice try though marky okay well um the stuff was up all day dog so right there at the end that's your nasdaq let's look at the s p for today as you can see right there at the end and why was that after powell testifies to congress um federal reserve chairman jerome powell acknowledges the central bank's rate raising campaign could could cause an economic downturn which everybody knew beforehand so i don't know why that all of a sudden i guess i guess whatever people talk about right then on the news uh, affects what people are thinking about so see investors have been watching closely for signs of how the fed will proceed in its campaign to bring down high inflation by raising interest rates central bank officials last week agreed to raise their benchmark uh interest rate by 0.75 percent percentage point their largest increase since 1994 and so the next one in july um could be that much again or uh, a 0.5 percent uh, interest rate rate hike but it is scheduled for july and so don't act like you didn't know that was coming either traders so i don't know i don't know what the deal yo is on that um everything really really close uh so uh, this looks like a time where um, the value fund holders, uh, maybe Milka, will uh, end up winning tomorrow. Maybe Troy Story. I don't think so. He and I tied today. Troy Story uh, moved around some of his stuff after I guess I convinced him that um, it's better to make the more money when it's up as opposed to lose the least money when it's down. So maybe I... Uh, convinced them on that and hopefully I'm right on that yep tattoo says still up over the last 10 years so no worries there in the market right it will come back up before too long he right uh, Sid wants to know if he has electrolyte packets Sid ain't playing she's gonna be using all the technologies available to keep him alive and hydrated. Check the rest of the plan. Oh, before we check the rest of the planet, let's go to uh, the earnings calendar. Tomorrow is Accenture, FedEx. Uh, next week is Nike, Walgreens, uh, Constellation Brands, and Micron Technology. And the most followed single stocks on the Google today. Amazon up a quarter percent. Now, granted, that was down pretty pretty bad uh, yesterday or the day before that. 
Uh, not the day before that, because market was closed for Juneteenth on Monday. So, must have been, not yesterday, maybe I'm thinking about Friday. Uh, let's see, the most down is going to be your meta platforms. And that has been sinking uh, the past few days. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. After hours, though, up 0.47%, uh, though. But yeah, as you can, as you can see, the past five days down like that. All righty. So alphabet point zero five percent down, which is almost nothing, but still something. Okay, so now the rest of the planet, we got everything down in Europe, everything down in the Asia, and. If the trend holds, uh, no, well, not trend, because sometimes it's not, but the usual thing is that when the market's down, the dollar goes up. But no, not all the, all the way, because apparently the euro is up against the U.S. dollar. Yen is up against the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar up against the British pound, though, love. Uh, U.S. dollar up against the Canadian dollar, eh? Sorry. And the U.S. dollar up against the Australian dollar, mate. No shrimp on the barbie again tonight. And everything down in the cryptos. I know some guys who have bought some of that. Include one of the uh, millionaires that called in for the uh, millionaire hour. Did that and... Uh, he said he only put a hundred, couple hundred bucks in it, but um, since that, since that was recently, which would be, and as when we talk about recently, we mean, do 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 do, we mean anyway, anytime after November night, November twelfth, because since then, if you bought any anywhere around here when it was going up, uh, that's when you got problems now, so. Alrighty. So is that it for, yep, that's it for that page. And we did that. All right, so this from PCGamer.com. Intel really just asked the EU for 624 million to pay it back for overturned anti-AMD fine. Battle's been ongoing since 2009 and shows no sign of abating. Um, I'm trying to, under, I don't understand that. Intel really just asked the EU for 624 million to pay it back for the overturned anti AMD fine. Let's see. Oh, Intel is seeking to be paid interest of. 593 euro million on the overturned 1.05 billion dollar fine it received from the European Commission back in 2009. The anti-trust ruling was overturned at the beginning of the year and so Intel has gone to EU general court seeking compensation and interest on the fine. In fact, Intel is claiming back almost half of that original fine based on the European Central Bank's refinancing rates. In case you need a reminder on all this, Intel allegedly took part in anti-competitive practices that saw it offer, offer conditional rebates to key OEMs such as Dell, HP, and Lenovo, making it difficult for competitors, read AMD or ARM if you prefer, but really AMD to compete with their own CPUs. Um, they concluded Intel had indeed behaved in such a way between October 2002 and 2007. It hit one of the largest ever fines that time at a cool 1.5 billion euros. Intel appealed the decision unsuccessfully in 2012, but in 2014 it brought the case to a European Court of Justice, which sent it back to General Court in 2017. Case has been going back and forth ever since. In January of this year, the court sided with Intel, stating that European Commissioner, Commission's analyst was incomplete. 
and it, that it hadn't established a legal standard that the rebates at the heart of the matter were anti-competitive. Uh, yeah, why can't they offer a lower price? I don't, I don't know. Why, why couldn't they do a rebate for that? No matter what the conditions are on it. And it said conditional rebates, uh, whatever. They offer in a lower price. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. uh, Meta Tattoo is the artist formerly known as Facebook. It's called Meta Platforms Inc. now. But yeah, it used to be uh, called Facebook. Let's see, from the Wall Street Journal, NBC Universal, Google compete to help Netflix, Netflix develop ad back tier. And so they're doing a subscription uh, tier or want to do a subscription tier that is cheaper but does have ads in it. And they think people will uh, get that because it's cheaper. And of course, we can't read it because it's the Wall Street Journal. But uh, they've uh, emerged as the top contenders. Um, boom, 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 and help the streaming company create an advertising supported tier of its service. These numbers must be the after hours uh, numbers right there, the uh, after hours trading numbers on it, on these two, on uh, Alphabet, which owns Google, and uh, Netflix. Netflix, which is hoping to boost revenue by selling ads around its programming, is still in the early stages of developing the strategy and has explored a range of tie-ins in recent weeks. I can barely read there. So, I still working as of now. A caller today on the Ramsey Show found out he was going to be losing his eyesight within the next 15 years, and that would be horrible. Boom, boom, boom. What up, Matt Daniels? Thanks for dropping by. Why? Um, they do because they're doing that whole metaverse thing, and it's 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 to expand. Because also, it's not just Facebook. Because they also own Instagram as well, and some other other uh, businesses as well. Uh, Sid says because they wanted people to forget how harmful they are to young people. Right. Right, and as we did a previous story on the after show, that an engineer from Facebook uh, leaked the uh, the intel that they had inside, uh, that they had studies of information that proved that it was uh, bad for young people. All right. Um, this from CNBC. Oh, let's check the since this reminds me of the futures. Let's just see what they are. Since the market was down, maybe this will give us a nice, uh, a nice fun boost if they are up. No, they're not. So still down after our trading. Um, 0.25 percent for S and P. 0.3 percent down. For the Nasdaq and 0.21% down after hours trading. That doesn't mean that it can't still open positively tomorrow. Depends on what happens in the pre-market trading. All right, where were we? Where were we? Where were we? That one's Google. Um, the, yeah, the, this is exactly where we were from CNBC.com. Demand for adjustable rate mortgages surges as interest rates make biggest jump in 13 years. Mortgage applications to purchase a home rose 8% last week compared with previous week, bolstered in part by demand for adjustable rate mortgages, according to Mortgage Bankers Association. The big jump in mortgage rates may have actually spurred home buyer demand, perhaps as consumers worried rates would move even higher. The average loan size at just over $420,000 is well below its $460,000 peak earlier this year and is potentially a sign that home price growth is moderating, said Joel Kahn, or Kahn a, an economist for the MBA. And so, again, the Mortgage Bankers Association and so again, that would 
echo Dave's uh, belief in that, that it, it is moderating and chilling out a little bit, but it ain't going to be dropping to previous levels is what he thinks. And I'm sure he'll talk more about that on the July 14th, which is a Tuesday, I believe I figured out. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Yep, July 14th is a Tuesday, and they will be having the real estate reality check event. Uh, he's, uh, he hasn't said anything about selling tickets for it, so it may just be uh, them on a stage and uh, on their own stage, probably, and just talking about it uh, with no audience members, maybe. Don't know. Um, boom, 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 boom. AJ wants wings. What, 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 uh, craving AJ? AJ says going on day three and the craving is getting harder to ignore. I don't know what he's trying to, what he's trying to give up, yo. Oh, when he said he said he kind of wants wings, and then Sid asked him where is he gonna where is he gonna fly to? Fun, fun, fun. Boom, boom, boom. Tattoo stays off all social media, uh, except for the the YouTube. Exactly. Oh, wings? Are you trying to give them up? Why do you? Why are you trying to give them up, dog? I mean, you could get just other kind of chicken. It doesn't have to be that. You can even get chicken with the uh, the barbecue sauce or whatever on there with the wing sauce even, and it doesn't have to be actual wings. All right, tattoo and AJ having a nice little Texas love in there. A little Lone Star love, as it were. All right, this is the U.S. Sun, and what do we have from there? I mean, not probably not the best for news, but uh, anyway, it says uh, viral fears. First outbreak of highly infectious polio detected in the U.K. since 1984. And what do you mean? It's, it's spreading in the UK for the first time in decades. Officials claim health bosses are experts to check their children's jabs are up to date after picking up signs of the virus being passed through individuals. Same bug in London. Sewage samples since April. They tested the sewage samples for that. A clear signal of a community outbreak. No cases have been yet confirmed in the UK and the UK HSA health savings account. Health Savings Administration, maybe, or Health and Sanitation, Health Services Association, one of those things. Said samples were found in East and North London. East and North London? This chief say suggests it is likely there has been some spread between closely linked individuals. Because of this, they said these cases could be shedding the virus strain in their faces. And so for feces, I guess they throw an extra A there in the uh, England. Or that's a typo. In which case, in which case U.S. Sun, uh, I don't care if you're accredited news or not. I will edit for you. Anytime. Let's see. This is from Fox News. Says Biden looks everywhere to lower gas prices. Except boosting oil productions. One of the... Uh, some of the things it says that he's going to do, he, he, or he uh, called on Congress Wednesday to implement three-month gas tax holiday, which would reduce pump prices by 18 cents a gallon and diesel fuel prices by 24 cents a gallon. I mean, that'll help, but, uh, you know. Um, boom, boom, boom. Understands that the White House said in a statement, he understands gas tax holiday will not on its own relieve run-up costs, and we've seen... At this unique moment, when the war in Ukraine is imposing costs on American families, Congress would do what it can to provide working families breathing room. And is that all the government can do about that? We can all make up our own minds on that. All right. Um, 
This is from also from the Wall Street Journal, so we get a little bit of an article, and I get to strain my eyes just for you people. Um, high gas prices hit demand as drivers cut back at the pump. Uh, some have begun consolidating trips or taking mass transit in response to $5 gallon gasoline. American drivers starting to buy less gasoline as they feel the economic burden of record prices that continue to hover near $5 a gallon. In the first full week of June, gasoline sales at U.S. stations were down about 8.2% compared with the same week last year, the 14th consecutive week that sales have lagged behind 2021 levels according to surveys by... Energy data provider OPIS. I think that's a, yeah, I think that's an I. Yeah, or Opus. Maybe Sid is uh, familiar with them. We'll see if she says anything about that. Um, boom, ba -doom, boom, boom, boom. Uh oh, Tyler Earth Nice Esquire Meridian. We have a name for Mr. Sid. How about that? Do 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 do. <laughs> it's spelled tires with a Y over there. Now in Texas, do you in Texas do you guys some some of you guys say tars tars t a r s tars? They do they do in like in the Virginia area, North Carolina area. Uh, let me say um, tours so they replaced that one and put an O there kinda no is it tar tar tars I don't know what that T-A no that's still an A so they just say yeah they put an A in there tars and then they also say nas na what is it nace nace core and put an O in there an O sound core um, this from, uh, where is this from? Vice.com. This is from the, this is, uh, from Mars. Stunning picture reveals weird polygons on Mars. And this is, uh, their spring. Yeah, new picture from Powerful Camera reveals the red planet's springtime activity. And apparently all these, uh, they're not always there, but these, uh, shapes come out. And it's like with uh, like spreading or whatever. So don't know what those are. I don't think it says either. Ba -ba -boom. Dramatic bright fans of dry ice. Oh, dry ice is what that is. Okay, dry ice. That come from inside the planet. Alrighty. And so as per usual, when we have time left, which is mostly... Uh, unless I have a ton of articles. Reddit.com slash r slash Dave Ramsey. This is the Dave Ramsey subreddit. And it is run by Ramsey fans. If you would like a Ramsey forum that is run by Ramsey Solutions. But is just as toxic or whatever probably. That's on the, Ram that's, uh, the Ramsey Baby Steps community. And use that exact name because if it's not that exact name it won't be the right one there are many different group ramsey groups on there including three different ramsey dating groups where i have found that most of the people in there are married and they're just in those for the ramsey-esque stuff i don't think i don't think they're trying to date outside of marriage i don't believe but who knows who knows? All right. Late start. Davish Vice wanted. AJ, you still here? You can weigh in on this then, AJ. AJ um, claims to be not the last of us, but he claims to be the ishest of us. Uh, so we'll see. This from Winfield Hughie. Um, late start. Davish Advice wanted. 33 single. 33s would that be a that's not a that's not a male or female that's not close to it i guess it's close to the f key i don't know we'll see uh 33 something married with uh two kids under 10 high cost of living beep, 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 beep. 
Just found FPU so seeking opinions on what? FPU is the proven millions of times plan oh the proven plan millions of times over documented millions of proofs that that works and that tells you the quickest way uh, between you and uh, financial success uh, and that is the baby steps but okay let's keep going 2021 income 420k gross and I guess it's a high cost of living area so you need all that probably includes the base plus bonus plus RSU vest retirement savings you I don't know something something vest uh, 2021 savings uh, 179,400 uh, you wouldn't be saving if you're doing necessarily if you're doing the um, yeah, you definitely wouldn't be if you're going to do the uh, the plan there because your debt, two vehicles at 2.25, totaling 50K, and so that would be paid off from savings. Uh, and then any other debt? Oh, no other debt other than that. So, yep, you pay that off, and so you got 129. Uh, and then mortgage 30-year, uh, 3.5 for 750K on value of $1.2 million. Uh, and so yeah, you would take that uh, remaining 129,000 now since I used it to pay off those vehicles. Um, that 129,000 uh, you would take down to three to six months of expenses and that's step three, your emergency fund. And so with that 179, you can make some jumps here on the baby steps. Uh, let's see, investments, 500K. 50k is considered emergency fund oh in low risk investment well it may not be an effective emergency fund because you have to be able to get that out immediately you can't be having an emergency and be like have a fifty thousand dollar house or something or something that you could sell and then you got to wait for it to sell to get your money out you can't do your um, emergency fund like that as our pal Rachel Cruz would say, repeat after me, not an investment is the emergency fund. And so you do have to keep that liquid. Okay. But anyway, uh, about 500K in investments, that's fine. Um, if it's single stocks, uh, Dave would have you pull that out if it's not in a retirement account not in a tax advantage account it was just in a brokerage account or something else um, but I mean it could be it could be like a rental house or something like that we'll see if he, he he or she says that what it is Winfield is probably a male name but again they didn't say that you said 33 s I don't know what that would be um, boom, 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 boom. AJ hasn't joined in yet I wouldn't go so far to call Big Bend recently, AJ. I mean, it's definitely within the past, what, six months, though. Um, oh, 33 plural. Oh, that's that's good thinking, Tattoo. He thinks it means both. 33s. So the two 33s. 33-year-olds. I got it. That's, that's, that's reasonable. All right. Separate 80K for kids' college. Okay? Or separate. Uh, 80k for kids college all right so cash on hand 28k so i mean if that's enough emergency fund that's fine i don't know what the savings would be though unless that maybe that 179 is savings in the pension plan or whatever this is that that this rsu vest is I don't know what that, let's see if we can find out what that is. RSU, America's favorite segment, Steve Google stuff. RSU vesting. Uh, restricted stock unit vesting. Okay, give employers interest in company stock, but no tangible value until vesting is complete. Okay, so we got that. So yeah, I'm really not. I'm really not sure about that, but like to to say, and it'd be hard to give advice. Maybe let's see, max four hundred one k. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, plus another twenty four k into taxable. 
So that means just a, a non-retirement. And so that, if that's in single stocks, uh, Dave would probably have you cash that out and put that on the crib. But uh, let's see, the most recent bonus cycle, I put 120K into investments. Okay, that doesn't matter if that's part of this number right here. Had a 65K tax bill, beep, beep, boo -doo, in April, which depleted cash. Corrected with new CPA and updated quarterly payments. Okay. As I under the baby steps and my thoughts, this is where I'd like the collective opinions thoughts. Okay, great. Pay off car loans. Yes, we'll do with March bonus in lieu of such high investments. March bonus. I mean, the one you just got this past March and just have the cash on hand maybe or something. Okay. Um, both vehicles have less than 50k miles and both maybe hand down kids to driving age okay great kids college already saved 20k a year can cash flow different probably if you do the baby steps you can probably already have 80k balance add an incremental amount to mortgage 10k annually from bonus uh, the mortgage is everything else except what's going to other baby steps which would be 15% uh, to the, which uh, that's the 401k. That's, uh, if you make 421k gross and 401k, you're maxing that out already at another 24. Uh, I won't do the math here, but 15% uh, of household income is what should be going into uh, retirement investing. Uh, gross household income that should be going in retirement investing so you do that and you save for kids college whatever you whatever you want to to make sure that you can uh, pay the difference or that you can uh, cash flow it or that you'll have enough to pay it uh, and then anything else that you're not saving you mean you can take save for trips and Save to replace cars if you need to. Doesn't sound like they need to quite yet on that. But if you have any expenses that you know will be coming up, you can do savings on that. Uh, and but other than that, other than like your saving per plan things, other than that, every bit of extra money goes to the mortgage. You don't say uh, uh 10k annually from bonuses, which I mean that's not even a thousand dollars more a month, and on that salary of 420k gross i would expect that to happen regardless of how high cost of living you're in so let's see what all this allows flexibility but leverages continued high savings rates while hitting the baby steps poke holes in my thoughts as i get up to speed um you don't want to you want to pay off the mortgage so yeah i mean that's uh the high savings rates uh, I don't know. And that may be something for something, whatever is happening through his work, uh, that restricted stock unit stuff. And uh, Dave would just advise for you to uh, not have that single stock and to uh, get that if you can buy that at a big discount and then uh, sell it as soon as you're able to. Um, but yeah, so there's 10 comments. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it is confusing the way he worded it. A lot of it. Where's AJ when we need him? Uh, ba -ba -boom. Tattoo says this, this is messy. And it says ish always is. Yep. Uh, Tat's anxiety would be through the roof. Just seems like everything is so chaotic for them. Yeah, well, you know, he's trying to, he's, he's at a what, chest, what, chest, uh, late start. He got a late start on it, so I'm assuming chest exposed to Dave stuff. And so, I, I don't know why he specifically requests the Dave Ish advice. Probably so people would give, go along with him on the savings uh, interest rate. Um, thinking that he can make more on that. I don't know how you're going to make more on that. You would make more on in the market, maybe not, not this year, but you can make more in the market maybe than the 3.5 that the mortgage is. 
Um, and yeah, and that's a 30. You need to pay that off. Uh, you can pay it off like it's a 15 or sooner than a 15. So why why be ish? I don't know. Let's see if they ask him questions. And he, it's not like mostly what Dave would suggest other than have cash and investment for debt, but your order is correct. Uh, well, I think he's going to pay that off anyway. I think he's going to pay off the uh, cars anyway, and then he would only have the mortgage, and then you would do your 15% and save for kids' college, and then extra would be put on the mortgage, which would be made way more than 10000 annually from bonus unless he's talking about putting that extra into some kind of other savings or investment which is not the ramsey way this is not the way uh sounds like a good plan eh. let's see mixed feelings as i'm fourth generation of a particular school beep, 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 beep. i was a sophomore in high school when i was told if i attended the same university as my father my school would be my father will hear about this you know what movie that's from I think did we lose AJ? I think we lost AJ. Tattoos is high saving rate doesn't matter in this situation, right? What if the bank is sold? We heard a couple doing that free stream recently that had the notes called because of that. Yep, that can happen. Uh, this is a major in-state university. It was equally motivating for grades to ensure I was accepted, and my natural preference, given I had been attending sporting events. My what what does that got to do with that? Oh, depending on where they go. It can be outrageous. Uh, no, you can. You're, it's not child abuse for you to say, "Hey, your mom and I will take care of your college." Guess what? You got to go to this one, this particular one. If you don't want to go to that, you can. Uh, you know, you can work and pay for it yourself. You can uh, get all the scholarships you want and and try to pay for that. But we're paying for this one particular college. That's not child abuse. That's right. Sid knew where it was from. My father will hear about this. That's uh, Draco Malfoy. Um, boom, 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 boom. How long will you take out of the mortgage with the plan you outlined? Good question. Use Ramsey mortgage payout, and I would shave shave seven years off the thirty year mortgage. I would be yeah. So saving shaving seven years off of it, you're not doing it. So. He's trying to do the, uh, trying to do, trying to make extra money somehow. But again, I don't understand what savings account he would be talking about that would do that. Unless he, unless he means in the market. So, um, when he shaved seven years off of it, right. If I were in, at that income, if I were this baby step seven person weighing in to that income. If I were in your shoes, I'd want that much lower. Seven year range. Might need some sacrifice, but I think it's worth it. Good advice. I'm making notes to review when next bonus RSU hits. Okay. And you don't you don't base your life on the bonus RSU hitting either. You don't base your life on that as well. Here's your group, R Davish. Oh, there is such a thing. Oh my goodness. I did not know that. Let's uh, let's just for fun check that out. Dave Ish, gotta know, gotta know. Uh, it says there's not any. We're, oh, they got me. They got me. R Dave Ish. Oh, did I put Davish in there? I did. I did a typo. All the letters are important, apparently. Important. Uh, Dave Ish. Interesting. Dave Ish sub proposed rules. Millionaire study. And so I'm sure all of it's, uh, let's see if there's anything. Build equity or renovate. Similar to Dave. I like Dave's friends on most of his Q&A podcasts, but I hate the constant commercial. Okay. Different uh, things, response to mutual funds versus index funds. Boom, boom, boom. John DeLone doesn't complete his sentences. He doesn't. I don't remember him not doing that debtors and then student loan interest question. So, I mean, you know, Dave reverses course on crypto, negative negative now it can be part of a portfolio 
Um, what his deal on that is, is that uh, a small portion of your world, maybe a few percent to maybe 5%, if you're on step seven, maybe 5% of your world, you can do whatever you want to. You can take the cash and burn it in your backyard. And so what would be the difference if you invested that in Bitcoin? is his deal on that so yeah that, that i mean this is just people not understanding that like not watching the show or anything it's like just reading three words that he said and then you know where it says that but they don't get the context of it so easy to understand if you're just uh reading three words i guess and if nfts i saw something today that was talking about art um like not not an NFT art, but actual art, like paintings and stuff, um, had more rate of return uh, this year than the market. Of course, it did. But uh, you know, I mean, that's gonna also be uh, that's you can't you know unless you sell the painting itself, you can't uh, do anything with it. You can't take the painting into the uh, store. And somebody deleted that one, deleted name. So anyway. Uh, that's fun. So, I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's just, we're just getting the, uh, we're just getting, uh, some of the same questions even that would be in the Ramsey, uh, the Dave Ramsey, uh, subreddit. Boo, 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 boo. Let's see. They also aren't children when they're going to go to college, right? More free content. That's right, Sid. So if we ever run out of stuff on on day on the Ramsey subreddit, I get a day fish. So you're right. Yeah, fun money is just that. Yeah, crypto is a gamble and should be done with fun money, not as an investment for retirement. Right. That's and that's exactly it. And so you know you can uh, spend that money on whatever you want to, including as he said often, and this is what you don't get when you read three words that he said. You don't get that he also said you can also take that money and take it out in the backyard and burn it and it doesn't affect your world your world all that much all right so hit a goal this from ptarmigan ridge trail a frequent poster on here and a three-month fully funded emergency fund thirteen thousand two hundred dollars done excellent just started with the thousand dollar started with after baby step two have it at SoFi at 1.25%, and that's not bad for that, and that's fine, so assuming, assuming you can have immediate access to that, either you have check writing or debit card privileges to access that, or both. Hooray, it took us 13 weeks, super intense, and my side gig check for 2400 came in to put us over the top. A moment of contentment and excitement and self-pride with money instead of stress. Obsessive de debt calculations and depression. Thank you, Dave Ramsey. And this thread, excellent, excellent, Tarmigan Ridge Trail. All right. Uh, simple math still confusing me. Any advice? Yeah, that math will get you. Let's see. Emotional tap, 4516. Uh, straight to the point. Single mom of two teens, take home pay thirty one hundred. One credit card debt eight nine one eight hundred ninety one dollars and nineteen point nine percent. Boop 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 doo. Twenty percent is a lot. Emergency savings uh sixty six hundred dollars. Try to follow the baby steps. Baby step one complete. Right, and after baby steps one complete, you should pay off that uh credit card debt immediately from that 660 immediately do it today in fact dave ramsey would say then skip to baby step three while still trying to pay baby step two do 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 speaking of davish my question is because i'm a single income should i be building baby step three first while still paying on baby step two negative ghost rider the pattern is full or do you pay baby step two completely off then build my emergency fund yes Yes, the steps are for everybody. Not There's no exceptions for the steps. Either you're doing the steps, and then if you have a problem, then you pause the baby steps and pile up cash. But that's if you have a problem. That's not if you think there might be a problem or if you watch the news too much. 
Uh, that's if you actually have a problem, you pause the baby steps and uh, just pile up cash. And then when there's no more problem, then you unpause and then you still follow the same old baby steps, right, in the same order. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, bills, sixteen fifty rent, 200 insurance being my fixed expense. Kind of lost here. Any advice or better direction would help? Thanks in advance. And so, yeah, you're not supposed to have that much in it. So if that's your only credit card debt, that's your only debt, uh, get rid of it. And then you still have a bunch in your emergency fund. So you just did it a little bit wrong, but you can still do it right from now on. Let's see. Yep. One step at a time. Important to pay off your debts first. Any comments? Out you're spending more than half your take home pay on rent. Yep. That too. Here's the order of operations according to, uh, yep, Dave Ramsey, because this is in order here. See how there's a sequence? Two comes before three, three comes before four, etc. That's nice from Aragona 36, baby step seven. Uh, he earned the op uh, earned the uh, right to do a little sarcasm there. The plan works as written. Dave Ish isn't nearly as effective. Yep. He didn't have to be so condescending. He wanted to be. It's the internet. And he wanted to be. He can be kind. He should not. No, it's just an argument on that. No, it's just an argument on 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 whether he's bad or not. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I was basically looking to see if the OP gave extra information, but yeah, that uh, house payment, that rent or rent is is way too high. So you would try to get up income and or um, try to uh, downsize in rent. How much is that? Sixteen fifty rent. Yeah, that's a lot. Wonder where that is. Doesn't say. All right, this is from Bill. Actually, we'll do this one tomorrow because we are at the hour mark. So I'll save that one for tomorrow. Um, plugs. I still haven't played any Uncharted yet. Again, I need to do that. I didn't do any of that this weekend. Uh, maybe tonight on that uh, stream number 10 of Uncharted 4, the A Thief's End. I'll do that. And um, sometime this week, uh, tech support with Coach Steve Money. Um, not many people were watching either of these live, and so that's why the gaming streams or tech support with Coach Steve Money. Um, if I do one with Bella again, I'll notice the, I'll, uh, I'll put the uh, time on here and publicize it because uh, for some reason if Bella's involved uh, people are more interested um, so I will be doing that again maybe tonight not promising tonight but probably at least one of these either the tech support one or the um, Uncharted 4 but probably probably Uncharted 4 over the tech support but I will do um, both get at least one gaming one in and uh, and one and the tech support with Coach Steve Money episode before the weekend starts, and then more on the weekend. All right, um, plugs are linked at the top of the chat and in the video description below, and on the right side of my YouTube banner. I am Steve Simpson, also known as Coach Steve Money, and uh, I'm a Ramsey Solutions certified financial coach, and you can schedule a free consultation with me. At Calendly.com slash Coach Steve Money, you, you click where it says Financial Coaching, and it'll have my logo right there, developed by the wonderfully talented Christopher Pittman, and uh, designed by C Pittman at his past tense, designed by Pittman at gmail.com if you're interested in having him do some logo work for you. Does hats, t-shirts, etc., etc., um, so you, it brings up the calendar. You can change the month. You can pick any day, July 4th even. I'll meet with you on July 4th, and we can celebrate our nation's birthday. Uh, and I will uh, give you that free consultation. 
uh, and Calendly will let me know when you want that appointment. I'll email you to let you know what information I need in order to accurately financially assess you. Uh, PayPal. Um, what is it? PayPal.me slash Coach Steve Money for donations such as D.H. Uh, Schumann did. Thank you so much, D.H., for sponsoring the program. Uh, Instagram is Coach Steve Money, no spaces. And hey, man, if you would like to sing the Baby Step song uh, or any of other reason, you can email me, Coach Steve Money at gmail.com. And you can ask me about anything on my channel, Oak Island, uh, Ramsey Show stuff, uh, stuff about uh, stuff I do here on the after show, anything about the making of that, uh, video gaming stuff, computer stuff, and of course, like I said, the songs that I have written, if you would like to sing the Baby Step song or any of these other ones, um, I would enjoy that a uh, bunch. You can record it. Uh, and I can just play the recording on the show, or you can do it live. We do have the technology for that. Alrighty. So, this has been show number 305, and make smart decisions every day.